So, what's up, you awesome dudes? Welcome back to our episode of No Man's Sky. We're on our base planet, and as you can see, the farm is pretty nicely. It's coming up together so well, and I actually did some changes off camera because after finishing the previous episode, I have realized that it was not really as symmetrical as I wanted it to be. So, what I did is just readjust all of these domes a little bit so you can now see that they are really, really nicely aligned, like all of these are in line with one another so everything here is perfectly exactly as i wanted it to be so i mean even some of these plants are actually completed now but you know some of them are actually not or are they Oh, it seems they are, so let's go ahead, collect them, because there are a few things that I want to do in this episode, outside of just making money, so apparently somebody posted on Reddit, I'm even going to link it in the description box, that they have discovered some really awesome looking multi-tool, and luckily enough I contacted that person, and they were willing to give me the portal coordinates to the planet that hosts that specific multi-tool, so we're gonna hunt for that, it's an exotic one, and as a matter of fact it's an alien multi-tool, so in case you're unaware, alien multi-tools are the best in this game, and given the fact that that one is also rank S, and 24 slot and it looks absolutely insane as you're probably going to see obviously we're gonna need to hunt it down and uh, make sure to get it so I even have all the glyphs necessary I mean one of the biggest reasons I haven't been posting regularly or at least not daily videos was because I was doing so much stuff off camera I didn't want to bore you guys with all the minor details so yeah we have a little bit more let's see let's make some living glass as a matter of fact I like doing it in the starship inventory slots because I can basically just continue pressing E and it basically just creates glass for me which is exactly what I want so wow how many can I even make so almost 20 glass that is actually not bad I'm gonna transfer them to my exosuit high capacity inventory because it pretty much hosts in the same manner as my spaceship does. So let's go back, let's see. We need to go and find a portal, but what do we need for a geo bay? Because I want to build one on the planet we're going to go to. So we only need like heridium. We need a lot of that because we're also going to use a portal and oh my god, I love this view. Looks so amazing. Even though the planet is radioactive, I like the technology that I'm using. So we're going to need a couple of things in space on top of the fact that we're going to need some heridium, plutonium and all of that cool stuff we're gonna go to a freighter and buy all the necessary materials i just realized we have an anomaly here it must have spawned recently because i'm pretty sure it was not in the previous uh video i s oh i hear something oh yeah there they are like there's a whole fleet of them can't even use my pulse drive so let's go ahead and land just a little bit. I want to get some of that iridium, some iron and probably some plutonium as well because we need to recharge those pesky glyphs, man. And I think I'm also going to need some Gek charms or probably Viking daggers. It seems that we have a Gek charm just in case. Somehow I got a hold of this in some of the previous episodes. I have no memory of that ever happening. Um, uh, let's see. I'm going to buy from him. And as I've said, we're gonna need... Oh, he has a lot of Thamium. Probably gonna jump in on the Carbon as well. Um, what else? Iron I know is useful. And I think that is enough. Let's go. Let's see, where was the Monolith? Oh yeah, there it is. Well, luckily enough, the Monolith is right here on the Lush Planet, so... Probably nothing is gonna try to kill us, which is, like, something that doesn't really happen that often. At least in my case. Oh! I just realized we still do need Heridium, because we need it for the Geo Bay. and what is, ouch, what is happening, what was that, like I just bent time and space, what the hell, probably some glitch in the simulation, because we're still in one of those, oh, come on, uh, slightly adjust, there you go, I still don't see Heridium. Can we find it though, you know, before going, but probably we're gonna find it on the way to the portal. Uh, if I can find a place to land, that would be awesome. Okay. Oh my god, I forgot how big it is. So, Monolith, it's me and you again. 
I'm gonna get the knowledge stones just in case. Just learning words. I wish learning a new language in real life was as easy as this. You just activate these stones and learn another language or at least a word. But you know, real life is not No Man's Sky, <laughs> obviously. God damn it, I need the Gek Relic? Okay, I need to think. Uh, wait, these guys might have one. Okay, you. You over there with the freaking looking uh, lamp. Stay still. No. Yeah, there you go. So, let's see. Maybe he has a Gek Charm. Oh my god, his friend is here. And only Neutrino module, really? God damn it. Ouch. Ouch. <laughs> It hurts. It hurts. So let's see. Uh, it didn't give me anything. I'm gonna need to unfortunately fly up in the sky and find a base or something that holds a relic. I have no idea honestly. Okay, we found the anomaly though, which is really awesome. It's not what I need, but whatever. Okay, so there's one in a million chance that I'm gonna get it in like one of these freaking loot boxes like probably this let's see please luck be on my side okay gag charm previously it was something else so i'm just gonna reload and do this thing until i get it i know it's a little bit of cheating i know i know but i really want that gag relic and one of these boxes hold it so i'm gonna <laughs> abuse a little bit i'm gonna save scum Okay, so somehow after like millions of tries and like almost an hour of just roaming around, I have basically found a Gek Relic, finally, like it was in one of these boxes, which is honestly, oh my god, <laughs> it's amazing, I'm also dying, but whatever, let's go back, let's find that freaking portal thingy, where was it, hold up a minute, hold up a minute, what is that, monolith? Wasn't there a monolith on this planet now? Like, there's... I see a monolith now on the different one. What? Uh, I think I must have scanned something off-planet and it triggered it. So since my OCD, quote-unquote, is kicking in, I just want to get rid of that icon. I'm gonna go there really fast. Where are you? Oh. There it is. Ouch! <laughs> what? What am I doing? Okay. Nice and steady. And this is like a scorched planet. I don't remember having a scorched planet. Or did we have one? I'm honestly confused right now, but it doesn't matter. Let's see. And it would be funny right now for this monolith not to request a Gek Relic. Oh, it does. So, locate portal. There you go. We haven't used a portal for what we're about to do in a while. We have never visited another planet for the sole purpose of finding something there. Like all the other times we have used portals were because we were doing the story missions, but now it's finally for something else. Oh, this is nice. The view is staggering. I like this really. I have the portal sequence on my telephone right now. I have the portal sequence in front of me. Um, I'm also probably gonna post it somewhere, but uh, let's do it actually. Okay, and the final glyph. Let's go. Yeah, there you go. Oh, okay, okay. All right, let's do it. Let's go inside. I'm really curious, man. What will I find there? Like, seems that uh, somebody was already here. So, communication station in one hour. There, that is the location that we're looking for. Cool. Now, we just need Iridium. Because I don't think I can make a Geo Bay without it. So, yeah, pretty much gonna need like 200 of those. I don't think there's like... I don't think it's gonna be that far away. I'm pretty sure that this planet should hold some iridium. Oh, wow. These are some big creatures. Alright. I have to be careful not to piss anybody off. But I must say, I love the choice of whoever this person is. I'm loving the planet. It looks good. It's frozen. But it's the good kind of frozen. Oh, I see some iridium over there. Like, I just saw the tip. <laughs> just the tip. Anyway, it's like... Oh my god, my savior! 
Wait a minute, there's even one of these here. Oh, if it has a launching bay, it would be amazing. Let's see, can I make a bypass chip and call my ship? Oh, Starship is pretty much out of range. Not a problem though. So in case something bad happens, I have my previous saves. I have this save as well in case I die. Because there's like huge chances for me to die of hypothermia. So, um, where's the entrance? Or am I not seeing it? Am I that blind that I'm not seeing an entrance? Oh yeah, of course. Of course, I missed it. It was so obvious. Whoa. What is up, dude? Oh my god. This guy looks so freaking awesome. We're gonna explore this planet in style. So, let's see. Where is it? Come on. I hope it doesn't go away when I get there. Oh yeah, it's still there. So, it wasn't just my imagination. Oh. Whoa. I just fell into a cave? Really? Like, one of the worst things that could happen to me would be to just drop into a cave and not be able to come out of it. There you go, nice and easy, just a little bit more. Yeah, there you go, that should be enough. Let's build it, though. I think... I think we can build it. Let's, let's choose a flat surface, as a matter of fact, because obviously it needs a flat surface. And... Let's do it, baby! Let's go, let's see, where is it? So, like, there's a shelter over there, but we are looking for the communication station, which is there. 19 minutes away, so it's not that far away if you're going with this route. It's obviously way better than going by foot, and holy hell, there's a huge creature over there. I hope my roamer doesn't break down by the end of this. Oh my god, no! <laughs> no, I'm stuck again! Alright, let's do it. I, I think this one is a little bit better. There you go. Oh yeah. Whoops. Did I just run over a freaking deer? Or a fawn? Well... I hope whoever runs this planet is not gonna be mad at me for that. Oh, can I build like three carrot sheets? So I can build the next? Yeah, I can. Oh nice, now we have three of these. So I can basically use my, my jump boost for more. Now at least I can go a little bit further, I didn't even realize it, I thought I was stuck with this, but I just forgot. Yeah, there you go, look at this boost. Whoops, okay, don't look at that. Look at this. Yeah, there you go. Like, I can basically keep it pressed and it just goes for such a long distance. Nice and easy. Ah, this view at night is absolutely beautiful. Look at this thing. That's how you do it. It's pretty close, I feel it. And obviously I can see it, so it's like right across this mountain, or hill, but it is close. If only there were not so many pesky trees in my way. So, let's see if it is true, let's see if it's here. I'm so excited, man, like, it better be here. It seems like there's two communication stations. Oh wow, I'm gonna have to find a save game location. So, as class alien and experimental found, so exactly what we wanted, let's save, because I'm pretty sure if you, you know, reload your save, it's gonna either spawn the one or the other. So, I'm really curious, which one will we get? I should have probably asked myself if I have enough money. Well, this is the experimental one. Holy hell, dude, it's here! Oh, yes! 4 million point 4.9 million to be precise and I really want the alien one I don't think I want this one so I'm gonna reload hopefully it doesn't crash or anything I hope nothing stupid happens right now because I really really need this multi-tool man like I've been searching for such a tool for such a long while and I never got it let's see come to daddy Will it spawn now? Oh my god, dude, it's here. Oh my god, I cannot believe this. It's so beautiful. It kind of looks like lipstick, I'm not gonna lie. It looks... It's actually much, much better than the one that I currently have. I'm gonna buy it, so there it is. So, how does it look? Oh my god. This is unbelievable. I'm gonna have to test it on something, but let's see, how fast does it melt? I'm sorry. 
I'm sorry about this. It was not my intention. But we just got this thing, which looks absolutely amazing. So I'm so excited. I cannot believe we just got this multi-tool. So if anybody wants to come here and get this thing, I'm gonna leave a link in the description box. Make sure you have at least 7 million if you don't have another S-Class. If you have another S-Class, it's probably gonna cost you like 4.9 million. Just make sure you have a lot of money with you because it's gonna be a pain to get, okay? Just keep that in mind and there's two versions of it so you can either get the alien one or you can reload and get the other one so i am obviously going to call it lipstick what else am i going to call it have to be thankful that we finally got an amazing looking multi-tool so let's not waste any more time on this planet we have seen what we needed to see and i'm basically gonna have to make all the way back to the portal and get back to my ship and to my base so let's go ahead and do that i'm gonna see you guys in just a bit all right so let's get inside let's go back we pretty much saw what we needed to see so i hope to god it doesn't crash i hope it doesn't crash my game because it sometimes happens oh will we get safely back with the loot we just received i wish there were some big boss fights in which you could get these types of items and lo and behold our starship is here as well, nicely waiting for us. Like, one of the things that I'm still missing is an S rank starship. And we could also use a freighter nonetheless. But, like, I could, I could kill something with this. It seems the damage is much bigger than the previous weapons. And I honestly really need more damage. Oh, you wanna fight? There you go. <laughs> if that's what you want. Like, maybe the mining is not really the greatest, but the bonus damage is definitely there. And I really like how it looks, man. Like, I wish I could see it from the front. So, now that we're done here, let's go back to our base, see what happened there. Like, the farm is pretty much, um, probably complete. Now, you're probably wondering why did I not take the experimental and why did I take, uh, the alien one. Because, you know, typically speaking, probably the experimental one has bigger bonuses to mining. But if you think about it, as you progress even more in the story, you're probably not going to use the mining thing that much anymore. And I would rather keep it for some combat in case something happens. The bonuses are still huge, so I don't really have a problem with that. And did I just spark my spaceship inside my base? Almost, almost. Look at this. So nice. Oh, so beautiful. Look at my beauties. All of them so ripe. This demands a screenshot, man. It looks so pretty. Oh my god, dude. Look at look at the farm. Look how huge it is. There's a lot in here. So much gamma weed ready for extraction. So this was just one row and like I'm already full of these things. Jesus Christ. Okay. Not a problem though. We still have a little bit more to go, so, eh, just got stuck over there. Like, it's so much better to come on a radioactive planet, and keep in mind that the current farm that I have is not even the most profitable one. There's way better than this. Like, there's something that generates, like, 180 million per two hours. So that's, like, 90 million per hour. But you really need, like, the most advanced of the blueprints to get that. And, you know, it's not that accessible early on. But, you know, this will suffice, I think. Okay, so this should be enough. And let's start building, as a matter of fact. I'm gonna start off with lubricant. I think I can build quite a little bit of this. So, you know, I'm just gonna build as many as possible. Like, look at this thing. Jesus Christ. Okay, that should be good enough. So, living glass. Okay, so that is like 19 living glass. Per half an hour. This is like half an hour worth of materials. And let's go to the space station and sell these things. Make way, peasants. Wait, it was here. Let's see. Um, sell items. So, how much? Yeah. 30 million per hour with my current farm. Really pleased of what I'm seeing. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We had a lot of fun in this one. If you did enjoy it, then make sure to drop a like and subscribe. I would be so grateful for that. And I will see you guys in the next one. So, peace out.